Kevin Norwood, welcome back inside the game here on a Throwback Thursday presented by Brian Harden Construction. Oh, man, I like that title. Thanks for having me. <laughs> well, I, you don't mind being a throwback guest, do you? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Kevin, um, let me ask you this. What has the last couple of days been like for you? Have you had a chance to soak all this in? Oh, man, I haven't had a chance to even relax. Um, we've just been going ever since we got here, but uh, it's been great. Uh, meeting a lot of the guys and uh, everybody's just welcoming and learning the offense. It's, it's just it's a it's a rush, but uh, we're getting it done. All right, so Kevin, what's the first purchase? What's the first purchase? <laughs> uh, it'll most likely be mom. I uh, buy mom something, either a car or a house, either one. I'm not sure yet. Wow, wow, what a son, what a son, uh, <laughs> uh, Kevin. Let, let me let me ask you. I watched the NFL story that they did on you, and and, and I know that. Uh, I, I know I've heard some of those pieces and puzzles of uh, pieces of that puzzle of, of your life. What a great story. Uh, is that what helps motivate you to where you are right now? Uh, definitely. I mean, it's, that's the main part of it. Um, you know, just going through the trials and tribulations of life and, uh, you know, overcoming all the adversity uh, that's been thrown at me uh, with, the, with all the hurricanes and tornadoes and uh, all that stuff and uh you know mom not being able uh you know being sick and stuff like that it's just uh adversity that i've overcome and i uh, made the best of it and i didn't quit and i got here and i'm i'm here and i'm ready to go you know team i i achieved my dream this is what this is one of my goals and i achieved it well kevin you didn't get there by not working hard you certainly got a great work ethic i want to go back to something that was on that clip and i believe it was a friend from back in high school uh, oh, that, Lord. I'm sorry? <laughs> I said, oh, Lord. Okay, no, no, I mean, on, on the NFL <laughs> clip, because I go back to 2010, and, and 39 seconds to go, uh, the drop ball coming across the middle, and that's so unusual for Kevin Norwood because we know him and Mr. Clutch. Talk about what that play was like and how that motivated you to continue to get better. That was one of my worst plays uh, of my college career or my life, you know, I, um I was red the year before, and uh, you know it was it was a big game. It was a huge game. Of course, it was Auburn, <laughs> and uh, Darius Hanks that went down, and it was my turn to go up. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't playing all all the whole game, and I was cold. I mean, I was, I'm not gonna make any excuses. It is what it is. Um, I just wasn't ready. Truth be told, I wasn't ready, and so uh, they called my name, and I didn't come through. And uh, you know, after that, I'm not gonna lie. I cried. I teared up. I was very hurt. I hurt the team, I felt like, and uh, I just made sure I never, you know, wanted to feel that way again. And ever since then, that's been motivating me to go out and practice hard and be consistent in what I do and make sure I'm ready day in and day out for anything. Kevin Norwood right now inside the game here in Tuscaloosa. It's a throwback Thursday presented by Brian Harden Construction. Kevin Norwood now a member of the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, I go back to developing Mr. Clutch. You've, you sort of accepted that role of being that guy uh, that, that hey, I'm Mr. Reliable. Sort of talk about embracing that role, and, and it's good for a wide receiver. I know sometimes we look at it as a negative, uh, but but it's not. I mean, you're the guy that Alabama, if we needed to play, they were going to Kevin Norwood. I mean, <laughs> that's just having that good chemistry with A.J. Um, no, it was... It was tough playing at Bama, you know, being a receiver or whatever. Um, you know, just we got a limited amount of, of reps uh, in the game. Well, opportunities, I should say. And, um, you know, you had to make the best of your opportunity as you, as the as time came, you know. And uh, that's what I did. And, um, you know, I practiced hard and uh, I stayed consistent with it. And me and A.J., we practiced day in and day out and got that chemistry down. And, you know, when time came, A.J. knew where I was. and. I knew where to be for him, you know, and um, I just sort of came came with everything else. It started gradually progressing, getting more reps and stuff like that. And, uh, and like I said, it's a run first offense, and of course you gotta make you gotta make the best of it whenever you, when the ball came your way, and that's what I did. Kevin Norwood, right now inside the game on a Throwback Thursday, presented by Brian Harden Construction. Kevin, you've got a great relationship with A.J. McCarron. A.J. was on our show a couple of days ago and had a chance to spend some time with us and, and talked about, you know, a lot of folks question his leadership ability. Uh, they said he had an arrogance about him. You know A.J. better than anybody. 
Tell us about what type of leader he was in that locker room. Uh, I don't. I don't understand where that came from. I don't know who said that. That's just the most dumbest thing I've ever heard. Um, you know about AJ. Uh, AJ is definitely not arrogant. He's definitely a leader. He was definitely a leader for us. Um, you know, he want he wanted us to win, and he want all he wanted to do was win and help us win. And he got us in situations where we could win. And um, you know, when the team was down, he was there to uh, pick us up, say a couple of words, and just you know get us going. I I don't know where arrogance come from. Uh, if you can, if you call it arrogance, then you call me arrogant too. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and Kevin, we we know that you're not uh, because you, you certainly every time we had a chance, and 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 I'm I don't mind telling you this, but you were one of the favorite guys for the media. We love to talk to Kevin Holmwood <laughs> because I mean, you 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 the way that you handled yourself, and I don't know. It was probably your raisings. You go back and credit your mother uh, and your father for doing a great job because you were always humble. You, you walked in, and, and you didn't look down upon us, and, and you delivered what you had to represent the University of Alabama. You were a guy and a captain on that team, uh, and we depended on you because you gave us quotes that we needed to know. And and that's uh, – no, no. So nobody could ever call Kevin Norwood arrogant. No, no, no not a chance. Uh, one of the most humble guys uh, we've had a, ever had here on our show. Uh, Kevin, did, were you surprised that A.J. fell that far? Uh, definitely. I mean, I definitely thought he was uh, going to at least the second round, uh, no later than the third. <clears throat> but when I didn't see his name uh, get called, and I knew my chances were uh, maybe slimmer, slimmer than his of actually getting, you know, up there, maybe six or seven round. I thought maybe he'll go at least a, a third, or and when I didn't see his name, I thought maybe he'll go at least a third or fourth. But that didn't happen. I was, and then my name got called. I was like, "Whoa, oh man!" But uh, at the same time, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we both got drafted. We both had a good team, good organization, and uh, we're going to embrace these moments and uh, use it to the best of our ability. And uh, I remember, um, and we all sent texts out. Uh, you know, all the Bama players. <clears throat> no, we still close or whatever. And uh, we all sent texts out saying. You know, they, they overlooked us. You know, they, they they don't trust in our ability, so we're going to give them something to trust. Absolutely. Kevin Norwood inside the game here in Tuscaloosa. And, uh, no doubt, I think a lot of people are realizing the value, especially there in Seattle, of what a Kevin Norwood brings to that football team. Uh, you're, you're, you're going from a champ to a champ. Uh, what is that uh, sort of like? <laughs> I mean, that expectation of win in Seattle is high. Oh, well, I'm... Um... I'm all for it. You know, I'm all about winning. Uh, being, you know, being at Bama, uh, all we did was win. And, um, you know, that's, that's definitely helped me you know, in this situation. I mean, no one here is, is arrogant. You know, everybody's ready to win another one. Everybody's still working. Um, you know, and it's just it's just fun, you know, learning from these guys that, that have been here and been and actually, you know, won this thing, won, you know, world champions, you know. And, um no, it's fine. I'm just I'm just learning right now. You got some former teammates from the University of Alabama there that yeah. are there with you there in Seattle. That's great. Yeah, James and uh Jesse. Yeah, great guys. Absolutely. Kevin, uh the last time you were on this program, you dropped the Coker bomb. Okay. And it, I mean <laughs> I don't know. I mean nothing else. <laughs> say what? I'm not saying nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, come on, dr- drop us a nugget that we can carry the rest of the show with. Oh, man, I wish I knew a nugget. <laughs> if I did, I can't tell y'all. Y'all put me I didn't even know what was going on. But uh, Well, and, and, and neither did we, because when you said it, um, <laughs> be honest, I was like, uh, did he really just say that? I mean, I didn't even force you into saying that. You just dropped it, and it was boom. Um, all right, Kevin, have you seen Jacob Coker throw a football? No, not yet. No, I actually never seen him throw one. I never even seen him. Well, we we hear that he's got a power arm, uh, no uh, doubt. Uh, Kevin, final question. Looking back, understanding what type of person you are. Obviously, God's put you in a great position. You're very proud of your faith. Uh, you put it on your Twitter account. Uh, that's something I'm sure it's going to help you guide you way, your way through the NFL. Uh, you're, yeah, you're not ashamed of the gospel. No, no, not at all. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy three thirty one six. God will never forsake you, and uh, He will always be there with you. Stay strong and be courageous, and that's what I've been doing for Him. Final question. What would you tell a player about the pressure of wearing the crimson jersey in 2014? You've been here. You've been a captain. What would you tell them? No pressure at all. There's no pressure. If you go out and handle your business, you go out and practice the way you want to play, then 
the pressure is not on you. The game will come easy. Just go out and work hard and uh, you know, stay focused on the task at hand and, and, and buy in to what Coach Saban is trying to do with the program. Kevin, thank you so much. We wish you nothing but the best in Seattle. I hope we'll have a chance to visit uh, when we get in the football season. Uh, we're pulling for you down in Tuscaloosa. You got a lot of fans. You got a lot of folks that follow me on Twitter, like you on Facebook, and connect with you there. Uh, we're pulling for you down in T Town. We know, we know without a doubt, uh, you're going to be a success there in Seattle. Uh, we appreciate what you mean to the University of Alabama. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Kevin Norwood, it's presented by Brian Harden Construction. With- 